The following tutorial is a sample video from a full course. To watch the entire course and many others, please visit digitaltutors.com to find hundreds of other free videos or sign up for a subscription and experience our entire library. Alright, in this first lesson we're going to take a look at just some of the basics of moving and navigating around inside of the Maya interface. Alright, so for this I'm just going to be working with a very simple scene. Now you don't have to necessarily worry about opening this up in order to follow along. Really I just wanted to take a few moments to kind of get you familiar with the process of moving around inside of the Maya interface. So let's start with camera movements. Now, to the process of moving cameras in Maya involves pressing and holding the Alt key on our keyboard. Now, with pressing and holding the Alt key, we can now start to use our uh, different combinations of mouse movements to move our camera appropriately. So for example, if we press and hold the Alt key on our keyboard, and with that press down, if we left click and drag with our mouse, we can now orbit our camera around our 3D geometry. Alright, now if we want to uh, move our camera from side to side without necessarily orbiting it, what we can do is press and hold the Alt key on our keyboard, and now middle click and drag with our mouse, you can see that we'll now start to uh, move our camera from side to side, which is a little bit different from actually orbiting the camera around. Now finally, if we want to move our camera in a little bit closer so we can get a little bit closer in on our geometry, if we press and hold the Alt key on our keyboard once again, and now Alt right click and drag with our mouse, we can now start to move our camera in and get a little bit closer. So learning these different uh, combinations of mouse movements uh, it takes a little bit of time, but once you get used to it, it actually becomes really, really intuitive to be able to move around inside of Maya. Now, another option that we have is the ability to actually uh, change our viewports. So there may be several instances where we may want to view our geometry from several different angles simultaneously. So what we can do is actually take this viewport and actually switch it from a single view to actually a four-panel view. Now, the quickest way to do that inside of Maya is to just simply uh, tap your spacebar very quickly so you can see just quickly tapping on my spacebar will now switch us to a four panel view and now we can actually see our geometry from several different angles we can see it from the side from the front as well as from the top now what we can do is take any of these different viewports and actually maximize these to a full screen view as well now it's very simply just a process of moving your mouse into the proper viewport and with that in the viewport just quickly tap your spacebar and that will uh, now maximize that now, again, if we want to go back to this four panel view, just again quickly tap your spacebar, move your cursor into the viewport that you now want to maximize, and now tap your spacebar once again. So, again, pretty intuitive once you get used to that. Now, the last thing I want to show you before we wrap up this lesson is the ability to actually change your object display inside of Maya. So, you can see right now we have our pieces of geometry in the scene, and right now we're really just seeing what is called the wireframe of these objects. So you can see sort of the structure that these objects are made out of, but you really can't see the uh, solid shading of them. So to do that, we use a couple of uh, quick keyboard shortcuts in Maya to actually switch between a couple of different view modes. So right now we are in what's called a wireframe view. And the quickest way of jumping to a wireframe view is to just simply press the 4 key on your keyboard. All right, now if we want to take these objects and actually look at them in more of a solid shaded view, we can do that by pressing the 5 key on our keyboard. And now, press the 5 key, now we can start to see any kind of different materials that we may have assigned to these objects, as well as any sort of highlights or anything that may be applied. Now, there's another keyboard shortcut that we can use, and that is the 6 key. Now, if I press the 6 key, in addition to seeing any sort of materials that are applied to our objects, the 6 key will also allow us to see any textures that are currently applied. So, these three keyboard shortcuts are the ones that you'll probably use most frequently. So, this is, again, going to be 4, 5, and 6. Now, in some of our later lessons of this course, we're actually going to talk a little bit more about materials and textures, so don't worry, we'll get into these uh, here in just a little bit. So for now, that's just a really quick look at how we can start to get around and move within this Maya interface.